In this session, we're going to continue looking at the interactive tools in CorelDRAW. We're going to take a look at the Contour tool, perhaps one of the most powerful tools in the CorelDRAW graphics suite. I use it all of the time to create effects for my design, such as highlighting and depth and shading and things like that. The reason being is as a screen printer, I want to be able to create the illusion of depth working with only a few spot colors. But even if I'm doing standard graphic design for anything else, I want to create shading and highlighting and depth for my graphics. But I found that contours work very well for me in unison with transparencies. We've got some tutorials on that in some of the other sections of the advancedtshirts.com website. Let's go ahead and we'll start out just with this text here I put out, which is contour. I'm going to fill this with a light gray, outline it with a black, I'm going to right click and select convert to curves. I'm going to come over here to my interactive tools, starting with the blend and come down to contour. You'll see the properties bar change. Now I can do this interactively. I can left click and start to move with my object and release where I see that blue line and that's where I'll have a contour. Now I can have a contour go to the outside, go to the inside as you can see there, or go to the center. Let's go to the inside here and let's change this back to one step and let's change this to zero, zero, one, one. And we'll hit enter. Now let's zoom in here and take a look at what we've got. We can see some different things here. Number one, we've got a little square here. We can left click, drag that, and that'll take that back. We've also got a slider here that we can slide up and it's going to change the number of objects in our contour. You see that? The number of steps. Look at the change in the properties bar. I'll go ahead and release that and that'll process. Now I created all those contours. Now my object is basically just completely black, but I can see something that looks like a bevel in there. I'm going to go ahead and right click and take my outline off. Let that process. You can see what happened here is very similar to what happens when you're working with the blend tool. We've gone from the light gray to the black. It's blended in. So you can use this tool to create some very interesting highlighting effects for your graphics. Now what I will typically do when I'm working with these is I'll go ahead and right click and select break contour group apart. I'll click off on this and you can see that we've still got our text behind us here. We could fill that with a black. We could give that, let's say, an outline. We'll go to the object properties and we'll give that an outline of let's say eight round corners and end caps. Select both of these, hit C and E, and even though this is black and white, we've got a very interesting effect on our text here. Now I can do some other things with this. I could contour the outside and do many different things. For instance, I've got this flame here and I want to add some effect to this. I want to give it some depth. I don't want it to look like a flat graphic. I want to make it look like a real flame. We'll do that. I'll go ahead and fill this with white, give it a black outline, go to my contour tool over here, which is interactive, and I'll just start contouring to the inside. Now I'm going to end up with one step, and my contour offset is too large. So if I go smaller, and I can see that starting to show up here, something like that, I'll be fine. Now if I change this to 0, 0, 0, 0, two and hit apply and then I come down in here grab my object and pull this chip here and go to the inside and release right there and pull that out to right about there that's too large we can't go that far okay left click hold down now I've gone into the inside quite a bit and you can see that right there. Now I can release, I can come in, zoom in here, and then start to pull up the number of contours I have going to the inside, which is 84. Now I've got 84 contours set up going to the inside. I could right click on this, select break contour group part, take this, which is grouped, fill it with yellow, take the outline off of it, go to my interactive transparency tool come up here and select uniform and create that at 98 and hit enter now holding down alt click on the object below and fill that with a red 
and actually go with this red here, maybe a darker red or a lighter red up here. I'll take my black outline off and now I've got the look of a realistic flame. Now I might want to change my transparency, take that up to 99 and see how that looks. That's not quite dark enough. So let's take a look at 97 and hit enter. And there we've got a nice flame look. Created through the contour applying a transparency, we'll then be able to use the blending of the yellow into the red to create the illusion of orange to give our flame a realistic red to yellow look when we're creating our graphics. So that's our contour tool and some of the things we can do with that. There's also a docker for this, tools, excuse me, window, dockers, and we can come down here to contour and apply many of the same effects. And if I'm looking for real control, sometimes I'll work with a docker, sometimes I'll work interactively. We'll go ahead and wrap here, and that is our interactive contour tool and our contour docker in CorelDRAW X6.